Over the holiday break, hope you enjoyed our special 44's Top 44 recap shows as we took a look back at numbers 44 through 28 of our countdown of the top high school athletes of the sports sport decade. Tonight, the countdown resumes with number 27, our first Bluffton Pirate, who made herself right at home at Jesse Owens Memorial Stadium. <laughs> Lydia Guagente, Bluffton, class of 2012, track and field. 14 times state qualifier in track, four times all Ohio in the high jump, placing eighth in 2009, third as a sophomore, fifth in 2011, and sixth as a senior. Placed with five relay teams as well, and finished seventh in the 400 as a sophomore. Also ran cross country and played basketball. The thing I think about Lydia is she was always intense no matter what she did, whether that was in, in track, in basketball, she played soccer for a year. She was always 110% intense and ready to roll. I've got a picture of Lydia in my mind and she's turning, the, uh, the, turning down the home stretch and her father, JR, is up on the fence screaming with all he has and she has a determined look herself. And I think when, when I think of Lydia with Jenny, I think of those two just in sync. That was at the Tiffin Regionals her senior year. I think of those two pushing each other in a positive way just to, just to be the best that she could be. Followed older brother John's footsteps to the University of Finley, earning All-American honors for the Oilers. Lydia Guagenti, number 27 in 44's top 44 female athletes. Last winter, Guagenti was the national runner-up in the indoor high jump. Join us next Thursday as 44's top 44 continues with number 26, a WBL basketball player now playing professionally. And of course, each Thursday from now until June as we continue the countdown of 44's top 44 female athletes here on the Sports Report.